The silver squeeze has begun. I'm going to show you how high prices are going to go, by when, and most importantly, how you can capitalize on what is one of the biggest moves I have seen in my entire investment career. This is such a compelling opportunity. You need to get in on this now. You think that we're almost out of time, and we almost are. But there's a little bit of time now for you to put yourself in a better position and capitalize on this massive move in silver that's about to happen. I told you guys about the silver squeeze on August 11th. That's over a month ago. And this is exactly what I said. Silver prices are destined to go dramatically higher, more than just about any other asset class out there. Silver prices will be the top performing asset class of any starting from now into the next couple of years. And out of respect for your time, let's get into the details. The skinny here. Silver is going to get to $100 per ounce. By when? In my opinion... And based on my analysis, my research, my experience, I believe that silver is going to hit triple digits, over $100 per ounce. And right now it's at about $31. It will do that in 2025. It'll triple in price from where it is right now next year, maybe sooner, because this move is about to break out. All these things that I've been talking about with you guys for so long cannot be ignored much longer. There's a daily deficit of how much silver is required compared to how much is being produced. Annual silver production is 26,000 metric tons. How many ounces is that, you might ask? It's about 917 million ounces, so just under 1 billion ounces. But the annual demand for silver is 1.24 billion ounces. So that's a shortfall of a couple hundred million ounces in one year. And hey, did you know that Peter Leeds has an app? He does. It's at m.peterleads.com. you got to go on your smartphone to go check it out. When does silver really start to move aggressively? Whenever the world realizes everything that I've been talking to you guys about for this entire time. And you can even look at things like the gold to silver ratio, which is at about 84 right now. That is historically incredibly high. How many ounces of silver it takes to buy one ounce of gold? It should be closer to 40 and one of the things bringing silver prices lower is the fact that they're being treated or silver is being treated as an industrial metal because it's a industrial and precious metal. But right now, investors, retail investors are just looking at it like an industrial metal. So that's why when oil prices come down, copper prices come down because the economy is slowing down worldwide. Activity levels are decreasing dramatically in the growth basket of the earth, which was China. When you see all that, you expect a recession coming in. You expect things like silver prices in terms of how it's used as an industrial metal to be in less demand. But what happens always is that gold moves first and it moves meaningfully. And silver is a laggard because gold has a certain thing that happens where central banks buy gold, but they don't buy silver. So there's this massive ton by ton demand on gold, but silver just sort of plods along. And usually silver eventually catches up to gold and performs even better than gold did. So gold's gone up about $700 an ounce, maybe $800 an ounce since we were first talking about it. And now you've got silver barely moving. This is a gift because silver always reacts like a tail on a dog. It's going to go up higher because gold's gone up higher. And it's going to go up higher because of the deficit every year that there's not enough silver to be able to provide what we need. And the forecast for 2024 indicates that the annual production shortfall will nearly double to 265 million ounces. Once gold makes its move, and it's gone up about $800 an ounce since we were talking about it, once it makes its move, silver is always slow to respond. But when silver finally starts to go, it not only catches up to the gains in gold, it actually surpasses them. Silver will do better than gold did in its rise to $2,600 an ounce. And gold has much further to go. If you saw my last video, gold will hit $10,000 an ounce by 2030. That's only five years from now. Could it do better? Of course, and absolutely. I also expect more deterioration of the US dollar, perhaps even a dollar crisis coming up when this dead bomb blows up. And of course, silver also gets affected by the risk premium, not as much as gold does. Gold is nature's insurance, silver is not. However, silver always follows its big brother around. Maybe wanders around a little bit in the wrong direction at first, but always goes wherever the big brother's going. And you can see how the economy is slowing down so that more investors are treating silver like a industrial metal that can decline in value. You can see things in like the velocity of money. 
as it slows down there's less activity in the economy you'll see copper oil and silver all trading softly when people are expecting the economy to do poorly but what happens silver will not be able to ignore gold's rise much longer at all especially when gold hits three thousand dollars an ounce at that point if silver prices aren't trading over fifty dollars an ounce i think that everybody and i can't tell you what to do make your own decisions this is not personalized trading advice i'm wrong 100 percent of the time mortgage your house and buy silver i mean if it's going to be trading as a glaringly obvious gift of free money take advantage of that this is how people make money you see it on tv all the time this is when people are actually making money because you buy things that are completely out of favor completely undervalued have these massive demand trends bringing them forward are following their big brother around at a time when there's so much military conflict which is going to be really positive and bullish for all precious metals that exist and a lot of rare earth metals too and other things like lithium generalized commodities but just like gold has been doing exactly like i told you as new money gets created gold prices go higher because it takes more dollars to buy the same asset silver is also in that game along with a lot of other commodities too the only difference is that gold is being bought by central banks worldwide silver is not and oh yeah by the way i almost forgot the big one which is the ongoing clearly widely known decrease in the value of the u.s dollar it's expected it's known worldwide when gold hits three thousand dollars an ounce maybe even in the next quarter silver is going to be woken up retail investors will say oh man i better get in on this gold trade and they'll see the price of gold they'll say well i'll wait for it to come back down and they'll back off and they'll buy silver everybody should own some precious metals pure precious metals whether silver or gold but the way to capitalize i'm going to tell you in a minute in this video about how you can best make money from this massive clearly obvious generationally once in a lifetime opportunity to multiply your money many times over meanwhile gold prices are about to hit two thousand five hundred dollars per ounce that's going to be a threshold level that will get a lot of attention among the media and the next thing everyone's going to be looking towards five thousand it is pretty clearly known among investment circles that silver is being completely overlooked i always tell you that the best investment strategy is to always invest in the thing that is most overlooked or unloved what could be more overlooked or unloved than silver and i said the exact same thing about gold back when it was trading at a thousand seven hundred dollars an ounce or so that's what i used to always say and now I'm saying it about silver. I was right about gold. I'll be right about gold even more as it keeps playing out exactly like I told you. It's not rocket science here. I'm not trying to act like this is so incredibly revealing. You can just look at the numbers and it's quite clear. Everybody always overcomplicates this stuff. There's something that we need, that we use. So the way to play this massive spike in silver prices that's coming up pretty soon there'll be a day where it'll just flip where right now you have time and one day you'll wake up and go okay well this is obviously the point where we no longer have time you got to move now if you want to if you think that's best for you but the way to play these is you don't just go and buy a silver company you buy stocks in a company that mines for silver that has certain things going for them like a good reserve life index that they have low debt levels plenty of cash to develop the mine absolutely top-notch management teams are operating in places like oh i don't know the golden triangle which is known worldwide to precious metals investors really high grade silver and gold that it's a matter of time till we have to extract it all because it's so rich of a resource so we're talking about peter leeds approved silver mining companies and just look at some of the stuff we look into with leeds analysis just about every aspect of any company you have to know every single point of strength and weakness and for people who have subscribed to this channel listen to what we have coming up two awesome videos number one the fear of fiat number two the coming oil glut but by far the best way to take advantage of this move will be to get involved with really high quality silver mining companies high quality i'm talking about companies that have 
Good reserve life indexes are making money already. They're producing. They're not exploring. They're pulling silver out of the ground. So basically, they're pulling money out of the ground. As silver prices go higher, their profit margin is going to explode, just like I told you this would happen with the gold mining companies. We just saw all of that play out. Now the next move is going to be silver. And as always, I ask you guys to become Peter Leeds Insiders. Go to peterleeds.com slash insiders for the price of a cup of coffee. You don't have to put up with any sponsorships or advertisements, and you help us develop all these videos for you.